Ukrainian fighters have captured two servicemen of the 155th Marine Brigade of the Russian Army in Russia's Kursk region. The prisoners said they were forcibly drafted to the war from prison, adding that they hate Russian President Putin and do not want to fight. The prisoners said they were afraid to be shot by their fellow soldiers if they fled from the battle. It should be noted that the soldiers of the 155th Marine Infantry Brigade of the Russian Army recently shot Ukrainian prisoners. Ну так а что ты не съебался? Что свои захуярят? Слава Украине! Вот так на. At the military base in Saratov, the Russian troops began training on North Korean self-propelled artillery systems. Atesh Guerrilla Movement reports. According to the agent, Russian artillerymen have begun training on North Korean self-propelled artillery systems at the recently reopened Higher Artillery Command School in Saratov. This demonstrates that Russia cannot independently produce and repair its own heavy weapons in the required quantities, as well as the growing role of North Korea in Russia's war against Ukraine, the guerrillas stressed. Vladimir Putin's request for military assistance from Kim Jong-un in September 2023 was intercepted as a sign of Russian weakness. A year and a half after the invasion of Ukraine, the Russian leader was meeting the North Korean dictator at a cosmodrome in the Russian Far East to exchange favors. What seemed like a desperate measure, turning to one of the poorest and most isolated countries on the planet, was also logical. Pyongyang's huge Soviet-era arsenals could feed the Russian military machine. A year has passed since the North Korean ammunition shipment reported by Western intelligence services and Kim's regime is now essential to the Kremlin's war. In addition, Moscow and Pyongyang have sealed an alliance that includes a pact on mutual defense in case of aggression. Kim's contribution to the holy war against the West, as the North Korean leader called the invasion of Ukraine, is crucial above all because of the 122mm ammunition he has supplied for Russian howitzers. The Times reported citing intelligence sources within NATO member states that half of the shells fired by Russian artillery are of North Korean origin. The British newspaper specified that Pyongyang had supplied 3 million shells, fewer than the 5 million South Korea had estimated its northern enemy had transferred to Moscow. The Ukrainian government says the quality of this ammunition, which has been in storage for decades, is poor and often fails. Multiple Ukrainian drone attacks between September and October against Russian weapons depots have also decimated the invaders' artillery strength. Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Ivan Havriliuk said that if at the beginning of the year the superiority of Russian artillery was 8 to 1 today, it would be only 3 to 1. Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal said that same day that Ukrainian ammunition production had tripled and now accounted for half of that used by the armed forces. Russia wants to use North Korean troops as cannon fodder on the battlefield in Ukraine. This was stated by Ukrainian Foreign Minister Andrew Sibiga at a joint press conference with Norwegian Foreign Minister Espen Barth Eid. He emphasized that according to information from our special services and intelligence agencies, we are not talking about North Korean mercenaries who will participate in Russia's armed aggression against Ukraine, but about full-fledged military units, regular troops of North Korea. According to him, this means an escalation of the war against Ukraine, its growth to a larger scale. This is a threatening situation that requires a firm response from the world. We can say the same about Iran's supply of ballistic missiles, Sibiga emphasized. According to him, this can significantly affect the situation on the battlefield, so it is necessary to prevent and stop such a threat. 
he noted the need for additional sanctions, increasing military assistance to Ukraine. Sibiga explained, We are convinced that the Russians want to use these North Korean soldiers as cannon fodder. They understand how sensitive the issue of mobilization is in Russian society, so by drawing other countries into the war, they are trying to resolve their domestic political situations and relieve tensions. He added that Ukraine had already seen such a situation in the case of mercenaries from some countries in the Indo-Pacific region. After we had concrete evidence of the participation of mercenaries from some countries, we immediately contacted these capitals. By the way, there were also prisoners from these countries. We contacted these capitals to stop this shameful practice of supplying mercenaries for the Russian army of invaders, said the Ukrainian foreign minister. Norwegian foreign minister Espen Barth Eid expressed concern over information about the possible participation of the North Korean military in the Russian-Ukrainian war. At the same time, he added that in such a situation, this is also evidence that Russia has problems if it asks for help from North Korea. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said at a press conference after attending a meeting of the European Council on October the 17th that officers from North Korea, according to intelligence, are already training soldiers of the Russian invading army in the occupied territory of Ukraine. Zelensky said that there is information that North Korea is preparing a contingent that is ready to send to fight against Ukraine.